All right, I just gave it to uh, Deputy Jameson, so give him a minute and he'll get on too, Judge. Okay. You said you want me to wait on Deputy Jameson? Well, you can go and finish with, you can start with our guy, since we already got him at the podium. Okay, Are you, uh, Mr. Wilson? Yes, ma'am. All right. I, did I give you the bond already? Did you give me the, um, the bond? Yes. Your yes. bond amount? All yes. right. Do you waive the formal reading of the charges or do you want them read to you? I don't want them read to me, no, no ma'am. All right. Do you think that you can post your bond? Yes, ma'am. All right. And your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203, June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. So if you bond out before June 16th, that court date will be waived and you will get your next court date in the mail. Thank you, sir. 203, right? 203, yes, sir. 8 a.m. 8 o'clock a.m., yes. All right, next is gonna be Joshua Adams. All right, after Mr. Adams is going to be Stanley Bell. Good afternoon, sir. You are charged with violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. You do not have a bond set at this time as you're currently on five years probation out of Clayton County Superior Court. Case number 18, CR 02956. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you, sir? All right, sir. Your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. Thank you, sir. All right. Are you Mr. Bell? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good afternoon, sir. Next will be Gregory Cosby. Mr. Bell, you are charged with aggravated assault by strangulation due to the nature of the charges you have no bond set at this time you have a bond condition to stay away and have no contact with christy white and not to violate it violate any laws while on bond do you understand that sir all right do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you sir i'm waiting all right Sir, your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. Thank you, sir. Next, we have Gregory Cosby, and after Mr. Cosby will be Jovan Cunningham. Mr. Cosby, you are charged with simple assault. Your bond is $4,000. Uh, simple battery, $5,000, and another count of simple battery, $5,000 bond for a total bond of $14,000. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Kendra Stewart. Also not to return to or go, go upon the premises located at 5168 Roses of Picardy in Atlanta, Georgia. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. All right. Sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? I waive. All right. Do you believe you can post your bond, sir? How much would that be all together? The total bond is $14,000. Yes. All right. Uh, your preliminary hearing would be set for June 15th in magistrate court or you can waive that hearing and expedite your case to state court and have a hearing in seven to 10 days. Do you wanna have the hearing on June 15th or do you wanna uh, waive your case to state court? June 15th, good ma'am. Which one? June, June 15th, all right. It will be June 15th at 8.30 in courtroom 203. If you bond out before that date, it'll automatically be waived by law and you'll get your next court date in the mail. Thank you, sir. All right, Mr. Cunningham. Good afternoon, sir. And next will be Darnell Dixon. Mr. Cunningham, you are charged with 
four counts of violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. For the first count, possession of MDMA, your bond is 5,000. Possession of marijuana, your bond is 5,000. Um, for the next two are both possession with intent to distribute, your bond is $10,000 each. On those two, possession of a weapon during a crime, your bond is $10,000. And then your last charge is use or possession of drug-related objects. Your bond is $1,500. So you have a total bond of $41,500. Do you believe you can post that, sir? Yes, ma'am. All right. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you, sir? Read right, to me. All right, it says you were the driver of a vehicle bearing Georgia tag RTH0758 that smelled of raw marijuana when a search of the vehicle was conducted approximately 65.77 grams of a green leafy marijuana found bagged separately, 3.49 grams of MDMA pills, a grinder, a black scale, also located in the center console. In addition, a high point 40 caliber rifle was located on the back seat in plain view, in plain sight. It was not stolen. Your preliminary hearing is scheduled for June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203. Thank you, sir. Next will be Darnell Dixon. After Mr. Dixon will be uh, Mr. Downer. The first name is Tri Rishtil Downer. All right, you, Mr. Dixon? How you doing? All right, good. Thank you, sir. You're charged with criminal damage to property in the second degree. Your bond is $7,000. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Raphael Mangul and not violate any laws while on bond. Do you understand that, sir? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, All right, do you believe you can post your $7,000 bond, sir? No, ma'am, I have no money. But I would have, I, I, I didn't even know I had court dates and stuff. I, stop, stop talking about the case. I don't. Sir, your preliminary hearing, on the, you will be appointed an attorney. Your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. Thank you, sir. All right, you, Mr. Downer? All right, and then next will be Deshaun Goolsby. Sir, you are charged with possession of marijuana more than an ounce your bond is five thousand dollars on that possession of a controlled substance five thousand dollars possession of a weapon during a crime ten thousand dollar bond violation of georgia controlled substances act that's for our intent to distribute ten thousand dollar bond tinted window violation five hundred dollars tag violation five hundred dollars and use or possession of drug-related objects, your bond is $1,500 on that charge. Do you believe you'll be able to post your bond, sir? Yes, we'll be able to yes. All right. Your talk? preliminary hearing. Oh, sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? I couldn't hear you. I waive All right. And sir, your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203. All right, thank you, sir. Next will be Deshaun Goolsby. And after Mr. Goolsby will be Quindarius Gray. All right, Mr. Goolsby, you are charged with theft by receiving stolen property. Your bond is $7,500. Um, you have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond. Do you believe you can post your bond, sir? How much you will? $7,500. All right. And sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? You want to read them now or no? Yeah. No. Yes. You waive the formal reading? Yes. Yeah. All right. And sir, your preliminary hearing 
will be set for June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203. June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203. Uh, um. All right, and hold on just a moment. For Mr. Downer, the total was 30, $32,500. Do you need the individual bonds? Amounts or just the total? The total, that's good, thank you. All right. All right, uh, Quindarius Gray. And after Mr. Gray will be Leonard Hardaway. All right, good afternoon, sir. You are charged with possession of a weapon during the commission of a crime. Your bond is $10,000. Possession of a firearm by a felony, $10,000. Theft by receiving stolen property, $10,000. Violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, $10,000. Possession of marijuana over an ounce, $5,000. Violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, $5,000. And violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, $5,000. So your total bond, it looks like you have seven charges, is $55,000. Do you believe you can post that, sir? Uh, is that through a bonding company? You can go through a bonding company. Around, do you know how much that would be? You would have to contact them and find out, but it would probably be about 12 to 15%. So you said it's 56 and all? 55, 55,000. 40, 45, 50, 55. Yep, 55,000. And sir, your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203. So, Thank you, sir. All right, just, just Next will be Leonard Hardaway and then Abbas Hussein after that. All right, good afternoon, sir. You are charged with a defective equipment violation. Your bond is a $500 signature bond and driving while unlicensed. Your bond is a $1,000 signature bond. So okay. you will be released sometime later on today after the sheriff's office processes the paperwork on a signature bond. Um, these charges, hold on just a moment, sir. Okay. See All right, can you hear me, sir? All right, yes, ma'am. All right, so you have a signature bond. So um, I will need for you to sign a waiver of your preliminary hearing and you will get your next court date in the mail. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Who, Abbas Hussein and after Mr. Hussein will be Richard Johnson. How are you doing? All right, Mr. Hussein, you are charged with violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. You have no bond set at this time as you are currently on five years probation in Clayton County Superior Court, sentenced on July 18th of 2019. Sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? I waive. All right, you waive them. So your bond, I mean, your preliminary hearing is June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203. Thank you, sir. All right, next I have Richard Johnson and after Mr. Johnson will be Nathaniel Lane. All right. Good afternoon, Mr. Johnson. You are charged with obstructing an officer, a $1,500 bond, giving a false name, address, or date of birth, $1,000 bond, not having your license on your person, excuse me, $1,000 bond, and a taillight violation, $500 bond. Your total bond is $4,000.
Do you believe you can post this, sir? Yes, ma'am. All right. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you, sir? That's good. I'll waive. All right. And, sir, your preliminary hearing would be set for June 15th at 8.30 in room 203, or you can waive this hearing and expedite your case to state court and have a hearing in seven to 10 days. Do you wanna have the preliminary hearing in magistrate court on June 15th, or do you wanna waive that hearing and expedite your case to state court? Um, can you say it one more time, please? Do you want to waive the June 15th preliminary hearing, or do you want to to um to expedite your case to state court or do you want to have the hearing on june 15th it's a probable cause hearing waiver. all right so sir you will just need to sign the waiver and then you'll be excused to go with the deputy thank you sir all right, Nathaniel Lane. And after Mr. Lane will be Fred Manning. All right, are you Mr. Lane? All right. Good afternoon, sir. You are charged with improper lane change. Your bond is $500. Uh, speeding violation, um, $1,000 bond, divided highway, Violation, $500, driving on the wrong side of the road, $500 bond, two red light violations, $500 each, two more, driving on the wrong side of the road, $500 bond each on those, failure to signal before turning a $500 bond, a speeding violation, $1,000, fleeing from the police officer, $1,500, reckless driving, $1,500 and wait, fleeing from the police officer, sorry, that is $4,500. The reckless driving is $1,500 and the last charge is no license. That is $1,000. All right, let me see. I did not add up the total amount. Let me get the total amount for you. Total amount is $13,000. Do you believe you'll be able to post that, sir? Yes. All right. And your um, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you, sir? No. Which one? No, ma'am. I don't need to read. Okay. Your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203, June 16th at eight in courtroom 203. And sir, if you bond out before that date, it'll automatically be waived by law and you will get your next court date in the mail. Thank you, sir. All right, Fred Manning. And after Mr. Manning will be Antonio Marks. Mr. Manning, you're charged with a tinted window violation. Your bond is $500. Violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, $5,000 bond. Violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, intent with possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. Your bond is $10,000. Crossing the guard line um, with drugs, your bond is $5,000 for a total bond of $20,500. Do you believe you will be able to post that, sir? No, ma'am. All right. Sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or, or do you want them read to you? I want them read to me. All right. Sir, it says you are operating a 2019 Chevrolet Malibu 
southbound on Jonesboro Road and Conley Road with dark window tinting measuring at 1 180 over zero. The measurement was taken with the tent meter enforcer two model 1000. It has a serial number. Um, it's less than the legal limit that offender did have inside of his vehicle, which was in his possession on the driver's seat and driver door, four plastic baggies and a box of sandwich bags that contained suspected marijuana. The baggies were packaged separately, all consistent with intent to distribute. Once at the Clayton County Jail, said offender was dressed in a Clayton County Jail uniform while getting dressed out. An additional plastic baggie fell out of his private area. The four baggies of marijuana found in the vehicle weighed together approximately 22.2 grams with the baggie, with the additional baggie found in the jail. Um, the total weight was approximately 31.7 grams. All right, sir. Let's see. Your preliminary hearing is June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. Thank you, sir. June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. Antonio Marks and after Mr. Marks will be Christian McCraney. All right, Mr. Marks, you Mr. Marks? Yeah. All right, good afternoon, sir. You have a tinted window violation. Your bond is $500. Driving on a suspended or revoked license, your bond is $1,500. A tag violation, your bond is $500. Suspension um, of your motor vehicle registration insurance, your bond is $1,000. Death by receiving stolen property, your bond is $10,000. Possession of a firearm by a felon is ten thousand dollars. So let me see your total bond to be let me see twenty one twenty three twenty three thousand five hundred dollars. Do you believe you will be able to post this bond amount, sir? I'm try. I don't, I don't really know. I'm trying. Man. All right. And sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges, or do you want them read to you? I mean. Uh, Yes, my own reason. When I, yeah, right. when I it says that you um, were observed. Hold on. Observed driving a tan in color Pontiac Grand Prix with dark window tint. Check the officer, check the driver's side window with a tent meter that read 14%, which violates official code of Georgia 40-8-73. Point one, Mr. Marks did commit the offense of suspended license when Mr. Marks information was checked through GCIC and CIC, which confirmed that Mr. Marks license was suspended on May 16, 2019 for DUI implied consent suspension. Mr. Marks did commit the offense of concealing the identity of a vehicle when Mr. Marks was driving a tan and color Pontiac Grand Prix with an Alabama temporary tag on it. The temporary tag did not come back to the Grand Prix, but to a 1996 Toyota Corolla with VIN, it has the VIN number attached. Mr. Marks did commit the offense of an unregistered vehicle when the Grand Prix VIN number was checked through Clayton County Communications, which advised the vehicle had canceled registration. Mr. Marks stated that he just bought the vehicle and could not get it registered, but he had insurance. Sir, your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, Christian McCraney. All right, good afternoon, sir. And after Mr. McCraney will be Roy Miller. Mr. McCraney, you are charged with criminal trespass. Your bond is $1,500. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond and no violence or harassing contact with Ngozi Prashan. So you can have contact, but it cannot be of a violent or harassing nature. 
Do you understand that, sir? All right. Do you believe you can post your bond, sir? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You believe you can post your bond, sir? Is it 10% of it? The bond is $1,500. All right, sir, your preliminary hearing will be set at, for June 15th at 8.30, or you can waive that hearing and expedite your case to state court and you would have a hearing in seven to 10 days. Do you wanna have the hearing, the preliminary hearing in magistrate court on June 15th, or do you wanna waive that hearing? You wanna go in front of Judge Quicker? You want to waive? All right. So they will have a waiver form for you to sign, and then you will get your next court date in the mail. Thank you, sir. No. Roy Miller, and then after Mr. Miller will be Devante Scales. All right, Mr. Miller, you are charged with terroristic threats. Your bond is ten thousand dollars. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Virginia Evans and not violate any laws while on bond. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, ma'am. Do you believe you can post your $10,000 bond? No, ma'am. All right. Sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? I'll waive it. All right. Sir, your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203, June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Is this a misdemeanor or a felony? Felony. How, how did I even get these charges? Yeah, I asked you if you wanted me to, to read it. Hold on, sir. Well, somebody stole my stuff. And I it got says, sir, Roy Miller, this was on, this warrant was taken out on May 4th, 2020 says you did knowingly and willfully threaten to commit a crime of violence to the person of Virginia Evans with the purpose of terrorizing said person by threatening to kill Virginia Evans in the presence of Tara Chatfield. Mm. All right. Thank you, sir. Right, Devante Scales and after Mr. Scales will be Daryl Sharp. All right, good afternoon, Mr. Scales. You are charged with battery family violence. Your bond is $4,000 on that charge and theft by taking your bond is $2,000 um, for a total of 6,000. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Antonio Taylor and not to violate any laws while I'm um, Okay. You hear me now? Yes. All right. Do you understand you have a, a special condition to stay away, have no contact with Antonio Taylor and not to violate any laws while on bond? Yes. All right. I believe you can post your $6,000 bond, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? All right. And sir, um, you would have a preliminary hearing in magistrate court on June 15th at 830, or you can waive that hearing and expedite your case to state court, or you would have a hearing in seven to 10 days. Do you want to have the preliminary hearing on June 15th, or do you want to waive that hearing and have a hearing in state court? I want to waive it. All right. You want to waive it. They will have a waiver form for you to sign and then you will be free to go with the deputy. All right, come on. The next court date in the mail. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, Daryl Sharp. All right, How are you? Sharp. And then next will be Jalen Somerville. Mr. Sharp, you are charged with battery, family violence. Your bond is $5,000 on that charge. Cruelty to children in the third degree. Your bond is $3,000 on that charge. 
and kidnapping. Your bond is $20,000 on that charge for a total of $28,000. Do you believe you will be able to post that bond, sir? Um, yes, ma'am. As long as I can be able to make a phone call, I should be able to Just post yes or no, sir. Yes. Yes. All right. Sir, you have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Kimberly Johnson. Also not to return to or go upon the premises located at 10272 Briar Bay Loop in Jonesboro and not to violate any laws while on bond. Um, one question. Um, so that's our house. That's me and my wife's house. Um, so you will not be able to go back to that residence or you could be rearrested for violating this bond. So this is. Uh, I'm appointing an attorney to represent you so they can answer any other questions you have um, regarding this case or your bond. Sir, your preliminary hearing is going to be set for June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom. 203. Sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? Um, they read them to me when I was booked in. I'm good. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Jalen Somerville. And then after Mr. Somerville will be Javante Stevens. All right. Mr. Somerville. You are charged with possession of a handgun by a person under 18 years of age. Your bond is $2,000. Do you believe you can post that, sir? Yes. All right. And sir, do you waive the formal, will you have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond? Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? Uh, no, I understand my charge. All right. And you can have a preliminary hearing in magistrate court on June 15th, or you can waive that hearing and expedite your case to state court where you would have a hearing in seven to 10 days. So do you want the hearing on June 15th or do you want to waive that hearing and go to state court? Uh, no, I want the hearing. All right. It will be set for June 15th at 8.30 in courtroom 203. 830 at room 203. Yes, thank you, sir. Can you say the date again? I'll just say June 15th. June 15th at 830 in courtroom 203. All right, uh, need a pen. All right, Javante Stevens, and after Mr. Stevens will be Antonio Taylor. All right, good afternoon, sir. You are charged with felony, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act for possession of marijuana. Your bond is $7,500. Do you believe you can post that, sir? Yes, ma'am. All right, you have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond. Do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? I, I, I know them, I don't need them read. All right, and you think you can post your bond? Yes, ma'am. Your preliminary hearing is set for June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203, June 16th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203. Thank you, young. All right, thank you, sir. Antonio Taylor, and after Mr. Taylor will be Paul Turner. All right, you Mr. Taylor? Yes. All right, sir, you are charged with simple battery, family violence. Your bond is $4,000. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Devante Scales and not to violate any laws while on bond. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. Do you believe you can post your bond, sir? Yes. All right. And would you like to waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? I understand. Okay. And, sir, you can have a preliminary hearing here in Magistrate Court on June 15th at 8.30, or you can waive that hearing and your case will go to state court where you have a hearing in seven to 10 days. 
So do you want to have the hearing on June 15th or do you want to waive that hearing and expedite your case to state court? June 16th, I mean 15th. All right, it'll be June 15th at eight o'clock in courtroom 203. And sir, if you bond out before that date, that hearing will automatically be waived and you will get your next court date in the mail. Thank you, sir. All right, Paul Turner. Good afternoon, sir. And after Mr. Turner will be Clinton White. Mr. Turner, you are charged with possession of marijuana, one ounce or less. You have a $1,500 signature bond on that charge. You're also charged with defective equipment. You have a $500 signature bond. So you have a total bond of $2,000, but I'm going to let you post a signature bond, Thank you, which means that you will be released once the sheriff's office processes all of the paperwork. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. Do you understand that, sir? Sure. All right. And sir, do you waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want your charges read to you? Um, I can waive because I, it was read to me. All right. And sir, since you have a signature bond, I just need for you to sign um, the waiver of your preliminary hearing and you will get your next court date in the mail. Okay, y'all. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Happy Mother's Day. All right. Thank you, sir. Clinton White. Uh, and then after Mr. White, I'm going to call um, to get an interpreter to do the last two people. Okay. And Judge, uh, Mr. Wilson can read lips real good, but I don't know how you want to do that. But Mr. Oh, Wilson. yeah, I do have him too. Right. Um, interpreter uh, first, though. We'll do them first. Okay. Mr. You, Mr. White? Yes, ma'am. How are you doing today? All right. Good. Thank you, sir. You are charged with deposit account fraud. Your bond is $1,500. You have a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond. Um, do you believe you can post your bond, sir? Yes, ma'am. All right. And would you like to waive the formal reading of your charges or do you want them read to you? Uh, yes, that's fine. I, I'm aware of the charge. Sorry about that. Yeah. All right. And your preliminary hearing will be set in magistrate court for June 15th at 830 or you can waive that hearing and expedite your case to state court and have a hearing in seven to 10 days. I'll go with the uh, 15th, uh, June, ma'am. All right. Thanks. It will be June 15th at 830 in courtroom 203, June 15th at 8.30 in courtroom 203. And sir, if you bond out before that date, your hearing will automatically be waived by law and you will get your next court date in the mail. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. All right, have a good one. Let's go all the way. All right, I am now, let me find the um, oh. number. I'm gonna get this. I can call for an interpreter, oh, I have it. Okay. Let me get the interpreter. Come on, sir. Come on. Thank you for calling Language Line Solutions. If you need an interpreter now, please press 1 for customer service. Welcome to Language Line Solutions. Please hold for the next. Spanish. Can we please have your client ID number? One one three zero one five. Adrian, ID 359263. I'll be your Spanish interpreter today. 
Oh. All right. Good um good afternoon. I have this is Judge Fox. I have two people in front of me. I have you on speaker because I'm on video with them. I just want to let them know what they're charged with and what their bond amount is. Okay. All right. So the first person, um, Contreras Galeas, G A L E A S. All right. Um, E A S is the last name. First name, Contre, C O N T R E R A S. All right. Good afternoon, Ms. Galeas. You are charged with criminal trespass. Está siendo, eh, presentando, presentando cargos por el traspaso criminal. Ms. Galeas, are you able to hear the interpreter? ¿Me puede escuchar, señora Galeas? I think um, her computer, I'm talking to the jail, the computer is muted. Her computer is muted. All right, Judge, you still there now. Okay, can you all hear me? I can hear you, Mrs. Interpreter. Okay, um, ma'am, you have a $1,000, well, I mean $1,500 signature bond. La fianza eh, firmada sería de $1,500. All right, you have a special condition not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. Tiene una condición especial de no violar eh, ninguna eh, ley mientras se salga bajo fianza. And not to have any violence or harassing contact with Gonzalo Martinez. No puede tener eh, contacto ni eh, acusar a Gonzalo Martínez. So, ma'am, you will be released once the sheriff's office processes their paperwork. Uh, una vez eh, que la oficina del sheriff procese los documentos, usted será liberada. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Gracias. Oh, it's... Um, she will need to sign a waiver since um, she has a signature bond. All right. And Mr. Gabriel Prado Mendoza, good afternoon, sir. Gabriel Prado Mendoza. You are charged with battery, family violence. Agresión, violencia familiar. Your bond is $5,000. Su fianza son $5,000. You're charged with criminal trespass, damage to property. Your bond is $3,000 on that charge. Este, su eh, fianza es de $3,000 para el otro cargo de entrar sin derecho. You're charged with cruelty to children. Your bond is $3,000. Por el cargo de crueldad a los niños, la fianza son $3,000. So your total bond is $11,000. Así que la totalidad de su fianza es $11,000. You have a special condition to stay away and have no contact with Erica Perea. Spell P E R E Y R A hyphen Huerta H U E R T A. Eh, la condición especial de usted no puede tener contacto con eh, la señora Erika Pereira Huerta. You also cannot return to or go upon the premises at 6545 Highway 42, Lot 142, in Rex. Georgia. Eh, tampoco puede eh, usted eh, presentarse a la dirección 6545 Highway 42, lote 142 en Rex, Georgia. 
and also not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. Tampoco eh, puede eh, violar ninguna ley mientras esté bajo fianza. All right, do you understand that, sir? Entiende, señor. Sí. Do you believe you can post your bond, sir? Sí, solo tengo que hablar a una de mi familia para que venga y pague, porque no traigo conmigo el dinero. Cuando me arrestaron, no me dejaron traer mi cartera. Ok, uh, I wasn't allowed to bring my wallet, but I can have, I just need to make a call and have somebody come and pay it. Ok, and since you're going to bond out, do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? And you'll get your next court date in the yeah. mail? Go ahead, I'm sorry. I said, uh, since you're going to bond out, do you want to waive your preliminary hearing and get your next court date in the mail? No entiendo, ¿me lo puede repetir en español? Uh, sí, señor, un momento. This is the interpreter. He wants me to, uh, he says he didn't understand. You want me to uh, tell him again? Try to rephrase it? No, um, just say his, your next court date will be June 15th at 8.30 in courtroom 203. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Judge. Thank you for using our service. All right. Bye. Judge, did he wave? Um, no. Okay. All right. He's done. Hearing Zoom. Okay. So who who was the last person? Uh, come on, come on. Right, right. Uh, Wilson. Wilson. Which one he goes? He's going to M seven. M eight seven. Okay. <laughs> you got to write something right. Oh, Brandon Wilson. Okay. Uh, he he can read he can read uh lips real good, so I can I can see what we can try and, and see what he does. Hold on. Can you write down what he's charged with? We talk about which one now, Wilson? Yeah. Wilson is short with. Um, I'm just saying, like, if you um, can he read it if it's written down? Uh, yes, I think he can. Let me see. Let's give it a shot. Her lips. You want to read her lips? Okay. All right, Judge. What's she doing? The judge is going to talk to you. I want you to read her lips, okay? Thank you. 
Hello, are you all still there at the jail? We're here, Judge. Okay. Um, for Brandon Wilson, I'm sorry I had my computer went out. Um, do you have something where you can write down his three charges and I can, and I can give you the bond amounts and he can read them? No, we're writing, we will write them as you say them. Okay, the possession of marijuana, his bond is $5,000. Oh, I don't know why I'm going to And the VGCSA, $10,000. And the possession of drug-related objects, $1,500. So the total bond is $16,500. Yes, ma'am. Okay. He has a special condition not to violate any laws while on bond. Yes, ma'am. And the preliminary hearing is June 16th at 8 o'clock in courtroom 203. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So he's no. not waving at all. He's going to preliminary. Come on. Yep. That's a felony. Thank you. All right. You all have a good day. Good.